Season 11, Episode 8. So this episode of Doctor Who, they go back in time to a British town of basically Salem. Basically there's these, these, these Salem witch trials going on. But what's going on is actually it's not witch, it's actually it's not really a witch trial because it's witch trials that were never recorded in history. So they go, so they go back in time and in this episode you bring in, you bring in Jamestown or you bring in King James who, you know, create, who commissioned the, the King James Bible. They're all teaming up and they're basically trying to find this witch and they're like, find the witch! It's a witch! It's a witch! So this is a very interesting episode. I really liked the doctor and everything. It was also funny where they all, they all look at the doctor and says like, You man, you must be the, uh, you must be the leader. She's like, no, no, I'm, I'm the leader. I'm the doctor. And they're like, no, 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 no. A woman in charge? That's crazy tough. <laughs> funny part of the episode was at the end whenever the one guy is quoting uh, Paul Fiction. He's like, and I will strike upon you with great envy. And furious anger, those who will go in the name of the Lord. And James A's like, ah, Ezekiel. He's like, no, it's actually Tarantino. And he's just like, hmm. And it was, it was a very interesting episode. This season's starting to wrap up. I'm curious how it's going to end because there really hasn't been a solid storyline. So yeah, I'll be curious what happens next. Arrow, season seven, episode seven. Holy crap, what a good episode of Arrow. And I don't say that often. So this episode is basically Oliver's getting ready to get out of prison, but Diaz is going to prison at the same time while Oliver's getting released. Diaz causes a lockdown, causes a riot to happen, so Oliver has to survive in this prison, also try to take down Diaz, and it, or try to keep himself alive and take down Diaz, maybe go out for revenge. And the thing I really liked about this episode is you really, really feel that Oliver's character really grows because he's not the same guy he was when he walked into prison. Because the one guy even says it, the golden tiger, the tiger guy, he says that says when you went to prison, all you saw was black and white. Now you've been inside, you can see the gray, and that makes you a better hero. So, and the action was really cool. It's nothing compared to that Daredevil episode, uh, the prison episode, but it was so good. And I was really surprised about how good this episode was. And yeah, that's holy crap. I can't believe that episode was the slap side of redemption. I mean, come on, it's Shawshank. Come on. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow, season four, episode six. So this episode, Nate takes his father to the Legends so he can prove that they are worth you, worth having. And and basically they're going after this like this like goat thing. I forget what they call the thing was called. But basically it's just it's Nate finally letting go of the legends and finally find his own place in this world in his own, uh, in the Time Bureau. So it was a very interesting episode. Another companion leaves, a, a character leaves. Maybe he leaves, maybe he goes back to the legends. We'll see. Because he's still part of the show. He's just, he's part of the Time Bureau now. So that's kind of interesting going on. Also, you see in Ava, you're seeing Ava, the one girl, and Amy and Dark's, uh, Nora Dark's all having fun times, all getting stuck in a little prison cell. So this is a very interesting episode of Legends of Tomorrow. The Flash, Season 5, Episode 7. So this episode of The Flash was a Thanksgiving episode, a week after Thanksgiving. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Get your Thanksgiving. Get your holidays right. Basically, they're going after Weather Wizard's daughter, who they, she's called Weather Witch. She has a staff that she can control the the weather with so it was very it was a very little fun episode and uh, and we're also we got some more backstory on cicada and how he became cicada and everything else so yeah we'll curious what happens next black lightning season two episode seven so this episode of black lightning but it's still following what's going on in the last episode basically they're trying to get the uh, twins they're trying to get them safe there's this one villain who can kind of control people through some kind of watery thing. They basically stop them and they get the twins there. Um, the youngest daughter, she and Painkiller are getting closer and she reveals her secret to him. So, yeah, and also Jefferson and Gabby, or Gavin, or whatever the guy's name is, uh, uh, they reconnect and yeah, good episode. Riverdale season three episode six. So this episode of Riverdale, we're seeing what's going on. This episode is Betty is getting deep into uh, who is the Gargoyle King. She's 
getting all the pieces together. Basically, her mom doesn't like it. The Gargoyle King comes after her, and they send her to that one, that little nun place that they keep sending people. They're like, you're causing trouble. We're going to send you to that one place that we've broken people out of a hundred times. <laughs> Archie is trying to trying to get freedom, and it's just not working, but... But so Veronica is able to figure out a way to get up freedom. He gets freedom, but he has to, it's like, I can't be with you, Veronica. It's, your dad's going to keep coming after me as long as I'm with you. I'm just going to have to get on down the road. So it's the mystery keep, keeps uh, thickening with who is the Gargoyle King? Who's the sacrifice? What is up with this D&D &D game? I guess we'll find out eventually. Survivor, David versus Goliath, episode 10. So, the episode basically, it's 5-5, five, five, Davis versus Goliath, but the Goliaths turn on one of their own uh, by voting Angelina, and basically, the uh, Angelina goes to the David side, so now the Davids have the majority, but now, but that's not really the way it's going on right now, it's basically, the first, this is a two-hour episode, the first part of the episode, you had a long, long immunity challenge, and Alec versus Christian. The challenge was five hours, and Alec's like, "I want to win. I want to win." And Christian's like, "Hey, Jeff, you mind if I uh, just talk, tell a story, and make some time go by faster?" And Jeff's like, "Go ahead, Christian." And Alec's just sitting there going, "Like, God, God, I hate this guy so much." And Christian's like, "And you see, if you if you get the tree and a little frog, it's going to be able to." become a giant frog and you're just and I was like I can't do it anymore I'm out Al goes home in the first episode second though they're all trying to take out Carl because Carl is kind of being like the godfather he's just laying back in the hammock he's like you see you see we're gonna we're all gonna vote together and you're gonna call me godfather and you're gonna vote for you're gonna vote for her, Allison and I'm gonna vote for Allison and that will be how the game goes. So, so at the end, end of the second episode, Carl goes home. So I'm curious what's going to happen next week. Will uh, because we still have the Mason Dixon going on, but Christian kind of took control of the game. But then we see in the preview, Gabby. Maybe Gabby's just trying to act a little crazy. Maybe Gabby is the winner pick. I think the Kentucky guy. He's going to be. Uh, I think he's probably playing the best game right now. But who knows? Uh, we'll find out. Hey guys, that is another episode of TV Recap. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, see more, tell your friends about Easy Nation, comment below, tell me what you thought of each episode. Oh, two.